what is it guys it is turtles 420 roast back again with another video and uh unfortunately the phone cut off earlier when i was trying to make this video turns out i only have 10 fucking minutes to make this video on this shitty phone so i'm so sorry guys uh let me just get it through real quick zopiclum got some loved it here's why i love it uh did high doses of it no blackout did high doses of it with alcohol blacked out don't do that now zopiclone is a z drug same thing as other z drugs like s zopiclone lonesta or other drugs like uh zolpidum aka ambi you know the stuff that fucked up tiger woods and his girl but anyways so i'm trying to get this all out before the fucking 10 minutes ends so let's get this straight i've had a couple of these and I find them that they work very similar to a benzo in the sense that it takes away anxiety and it inhibits you. And it also is, uh, I don't know, just fucking cool. <laughs> but uh, no, it's not cool. It's really not. It definitely makes you way more sleepy than the traditional benzo, which is good for me because I have a problem that seems to follow me with benzos where I just want to be social. I want to be just out and about talking to people and just doing crazy shit whereas these just make me really sleep the more i take the more sleepy i get and disinhibited and i just want to go to sleep also these if you take enough of these you start to have mild pretty cool hallucinations and uh as somebody who you know is a big fan and is a big fan of psychedelics and stuff uh i really like that little kind of like that extra the extra little thing that it adds on to it so i definitely be rating this thing 8 out, of, 8 out of 10 out of 10 the only warnings i would give is uh try not to do uh too many of these too often because i hear that uh it's give you some pretty like gnarly muscle cramps from overuse uh, another bad thing is that Although it's not a benzodiazepine, it is a gabinergic. And if you say, let's say you're two weeks on every day, been using this, and then you immediately taper, uh, immediately go cold turkey off of it with a lot of turkey. <laughs> Shit, I'm already getting fucked up. If you immediately withdraw cold turkey without tapering off first, you will experience uh, symptoms similar to to benzo withdrawal minus the deadly ass seizures so you just have irritability you know unable to sleep just panic attacks um you know but you won't die so zopiclone versus ambien i definitely say zopiclone is the way to go in terms of the safetyness and the bang for your buck because if you know some people you can get some some of this stuff it's pretty cheap you can get brand named i'm Ovain, or you can get this zopiclo tablets by zop tablets don't even say what company it's from just keep saying zop 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 but that's cool right guys well anyways so that's Zopiclone for you guys. I only have a couple more minutes left. Uh, I don't really know what to talk about. Brrr, what should I talk about? Oh, right. Modafinil. So, real quick, let's talk about Modafinil. Uh, I did get a free sample of Modafinil with my motherfucking Zopiclone order. And I did end up trying them. I'll tell you something, guys. I was I was a little bit I was a little bit bummed out with the modafinil. I'm not I'm not sure it's because of the the way it was made, or if it's just modafinil doesn't affect me the best way personally. Because I started off with 200 milligrams, mm, it's feeling pretty good, almost like I had taken like a large dose of caffeine without the jitteriness. And then I go to work and I take the other one. And I feel like a fucking bear on steroids. I'm going boom, 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 boom. I'm feeling good. And then, uh, I crash. I crash. I crash.
crash really f fucking hard at work because I had taken it around 12 and I think I had taken in total three so th 600 milligrams throughout the whole no no first time it was 400 milligrams throughout the whole day and I had crashed like like I leave I leave work always like around 11 and oh my god I started dosing at 12 30 in the afternoon and it went all the way out to to uh, eight, and that's when I crashed. I've never felt that from any stimulant. Usually, the crash doesn't happen uh, like real, like uh, narcotic level, not narcotic, but psychoactive level of stimulants don't have you crashing until like whew, way later. But with this modafinil, it was like it was. It's like the ecstasy of fucking. It's like the MDMA of the stimulant world. Because it just goes up. Fucking like four hours or something. And then it goes back down. And especially if you keep redosing. It makes it worse. Like I brought. 600 milligrams for work yesterday. Uh, pop. Pop one to get me just started. Pop the other one. Once the lines. Once the customers started coming in. Swamping in. Fucking running in. And then the last one I popped just to save my life. And I was barely holding on. And then I just remember after I got off of work, just taking a warm ass shower and just being like, I feel like shit. So, Daphne, I would definitely, I'd put it one step above caffeine or pre workout. Uh, but it's no better, I'd say, than. I've had a better experience with, with with energy, at least with fentanyl. So I can see how modafinil could be used as an ADHD medication. Like where you're supposed to be sitting down to school and talking and like maybe at the end of the day, because it doesn't last, I would say it lasts six hours, tops. And then after those six hours peak, the modafinil is just shit. Uh, you also have to remember, I wasn't drinking any caffeine during this time because, you know, I'm trying to watch my heart. I can't have too many stimulants. So, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe I'll try modafinil with caffeine since see if that works. But I didn't want to do that. I just, I don't, you know, want to just kind of, like, fuck up the test. So, I decided just to do <clears throat> my voice. So, I decided just to do modafinil itself. And, like I said, it felt good. I feel energized, no real euphoria, just the euphoria, it was like mild euphoria when you were doing tasks, and it also felt good to talk to people, so it gave you like a, like confidence, you know, it made you a real chatty Kathy, but other, other than that, nothing special about Modafin, it's not a super smart drug people are putting out to be, I think I might have to I, I'm de definitely see myself using it for cognitive enhancement, like at for school, but at work, once that crash hits you, dude, you just don't even want to move. And uh, well, also, so from some things I heard about uh, Zopoclone, is that you're not supposed to drink caffeine or use nicotine before using this because it decreases the effect of the drug. That hasn't happened to me. Also, the metallic taste that most people get, I don't get. So, taste their own. Deuce is my deuce. Deuce is my peeps. So, so I'll stick around, yeah?